What is up guys, Junior here with Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube and I'm here to tell you what you didn't know about aftermarket wheels. So now the first thing that people have questions on with aftermarket wheels is what's the difference between all the kinds? There are forged wheels and there are cast wheels and some of them look a lot alike. Well, forged wheels are made out of true aluminum, there's a lot of pressure behind them, they're a higher structural integrity, a lot of them are polished whereas your cast wheels are just a mixture of alloys poured into a mold and then deburred and there's your wheel. So there's a lot that goes into making a forged wheel. Let me kind of explain why they're so expensive. So these forged wheels are made out of a T6061 aluminum. There's a whole crazy process involved in making these, which warrants how expensive they are. If you check out the link below, we explain exactly what it takes to make forged wheels and why they're so much different than normal cast wheel out there. So despite what the gram says, forged wheels aren't the most popular out there. 94% of wheels that Custom Offsets offers are cast and all of them are made in China. It's just something you have to accept for the price you pay. So a lot of people get wheels that look directional and are tipped a certain way, and they think they got misshipped the wrong thing, where some are turned one way and some should be turned the other way, so they have two sets of wheels, one for each side of your truck. It's a directional wheel, but they're not true directional. Now, there are only a few companies out there in the cast wheel world that actually make a true directional wheel where you get two lefts and two rights. The majority of them, though, are gonna be your forged wheels, your more expensive ones that come in a true directional where you have both sides going in the same direction. So one side is not digging and the other side is scooping. So another thing that you might not know when buying aftermarket wheels is that a lot of them come dual drilled. And what that means is that there's two bolt patterns on the back of the wheel meant to fit two different vehicles. I actually ran into this issue when I ordered my first set of aftermarket wheels because I lifted the wheel entire up and tried putting it on the truck and just wasn't going on. Come to find out that there's obviously a second bolt pattern there. You gotta rotate it a little bit, put it on, and it'll go on just fine. Now there's a couple companies out there in the cast wheel game that have exposed lugs, but for the most part, it's normal for cast wheels to have dual drilled and then have a covered center cap so you don't see the lugs. All forged wheels are gonna be exposed lug with the center cap to show that it's single drilled so you can run spike lug nuts and not have any issues. So when you're ordering aftermarket wheels, a lot of the times you gotta look at the sizing. Now, your aftermarket wheel is gonna be a different size typically than your stock wheel unless you're purposefully ordering something the same exact size, offset dimensions, etc. If you aren't sure on what sizes to run in your truck or what look you're trying to go for, you can check out customoffsets.com slash gallery and see everybody else's photos, see exactly what their specs are and what they're running and find a similar setup and then run something like that, knowing the sizes and knowing what you wanna run in your truck. So the second part of that is understanding wheel sizes. Now this is a 22 by 14, negative 70, negative 76 offset. Let me explain what that means. Now, obviously the first number, the 22, is the diameter of the wheel. You measure diameter from the inside of the lip to the inside of the lip. As you can see, that is 22 inches. Now, the 14 is the second part of that. A lot of people call them 14 wides because that's how wide the wheel is and that's really what people care about because that's how big it is, how far it sticks out from the truck. So a 22 by 14 is 22 here, and then it's 14 here. You go from inner bead to inner bead to measure the width of the wheel and you get your 14 wide. Now the third part to that is the negative 70 to negative 76 offset that I mentioned. Now you might be like, Junior, why are you saying a bunch of different sizes and ranges? Why aren't you being very specific with it? Because a lot of times companies will do a variation of a negative 70, a negative 73, a negative 76, something like that. And it's literally the millimeter difference between them. So you're looking at a negative 70 versus a negative 76 is a six millimeter difference as far as how much the wheel is gonna stick out on the truck. You're not gonna notice six millimeters, so it's not that important. What you should know is that a 10 wide is gonna be around a negative 24 offset. A 12 wide is gonna be around a negative 44 offset. And a 14 wide is gonna be around a negative 76 offset. If you're confused on all of that and you don't understand what that means, it's basically looking at your truck tire sticking out two inches versus four inches versus six inches. And you can also use the gallery just to see exactly what that wheel and tire setup with the offset is, what it looks like on the truck. But keep in mind that some of them are running fender flares. So the wheel might not look like it's sticking out as much due to the fact that they're running a two inch flare to cover up some of that wheel so it doesn't look like it's sticking out so much. So I hope that taught you guys something on what you didn't know about aftermarket wheels. If you have any other questions or things you want to see us video, drop them in the comments below. We'll get them answered or made into a video. Make sure to subscribe and like youtube.com slash custom offsets TV on the YouTubes. Peace.